Well, this is some place you don't see us very often. It's an airport. How did this happen? As travel restrictions from COVID-19 began to lock down the world, we returned to Cozumel to ship our dive gear back to the States and made the tough decision to book a flight to Miami. This is our last farewell to Cozumel for a while. I don't even know what to say. Cozumel is completely shut down. Uh, it'll reopen, uh, the reefs will come back stronger for it. The water's already so beautiful out, the people there definitely helping nature and uh, it'll come back stronger than ever. I lost my earring when I was going through screening and I went back and the guys found it for me. My only pair of earrings, I'm so excited. <laughs> and look at the floor upgrades. We now have social distancing circles. It's a big upgrade from the last time we went across. <laughs> is being very proactive with their social distancing and the cleaning to make everybody, even if you're together, sit apart and it's pretty amazing. They're doing a great job. Our hotel got canceled so they upgraded this to the Fairfield and it comes with free breakfast. Check out this room. And this room is very so good. Getting out just in time, and that's a good thing. Yeah. So we're leaving the beautiful Fairfield. Well, this is some place you don't see us very often. It's an airport. How did this happen? Well, after 15 months, we're finally forced to get on a plane. It's been a good run. Uh, we're hoping to start it. Well, we're going to start a new run right after this flight. And Hopefully we'll actually get to travel again soon. Never know. <laughs> We're gonna go up and self-quarantine in Miami and then we'll see what happens from there. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, we were hoping to do a Kara and Nate and get into the business class lounge with our business class tickets, but it didn't work. That is a priority pass only lounge and we do not have priority pass because we never fly. Yeah. <laughs> Upgrade to business class. We get a blanket. Nice and soft. It's like the only thing we get too. <laughs> I know. No food because of the coronavirus. No drinks. And no drinks. Like no water. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. To make the business class experience even less useful. They pulled me out of line while we were boarding to turn my bag apart and check all the electronics. <laughs> the seats are very comfy. Yeah. I don't think we mentioned why we're flying business class. The upgrade fee turned out to be about the same as the check bag fee. So we just bought it on points and called it good. <laughs> you only fly once every two years, you might as well go business class. <laughs> With no this flight is empty and it's the only one for all night. Might be the last one for the Let's show you the apartment. Really nice, comfy couch. A must. Has a big refrigerator, a stove, microwave, and a coffee pot. That's pretty much everything we need. Two bedrooms. I don't know which one we're gonna have. That's about too bad. Well, that's a little firmer. And a big bathroom. That's a lot. 
This is our home for the next month. I'm glad it has a comfy couch. And it has a pool. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>